997, 998, 999, 1000. Hi there, I'm Mark from the International Dodgeball Association and I'm here to teach you the basic rules of IDA Dodgeball. I'll be refing this game with Julia. Oh hey. As you can see, there are two refs on either side of the dodgeball court. The court is divided into two halves. There are six balls, there are six players on each team. Note that at least two players on each team must be female. There you go, now we're ready to play. The game begins when the refs give the call of... Three, two, one, dodgeball! You are only eligible to grab the balls on the right hand side of the court. You cannot grab the other team's balls off the opening rush. Note that these balls cannot be played until they have touched the back wall. Whenever you pick up an active ball, a 10 second count begins on that ball. Zain, noin, ach, chi, liu, senko, quattro, three. There we go. If you wait the full 10 seconds, the ball becomes dead. At this point, you must surrender it to the other team. Two, one, dead ball. Now let's get to the game. The objective is to get the entire opposing team out. You can do this in a number of ways. You can throw a ball and hit an opponent. You can also catch an opponent's ball to get them out. In this case, a player from your team comes back in. In order for your teammate to be eligible to come back in, they must tag the back wall before touching any other balls on the court. You can totally prevent yourself from getting out by blocking thrown balls with your own ball. But you have to make sure it's a clean block. If it deflects off your ball and still hits you, you're still out. Even your fingertips count. Three, two, one, dead ball. Blocking with a dead ball is another way you can get out. So make sure you surrender those balls when the count is up. Touching the lines is another way you can get out. So make sure you stay in bounds at all times. The one exception to this is off the opening rush. At that point, you're allowed to cross the center line. However, the sideline remains in effect at all times. You're out. When you do get out, make sure to line up next to the refs on your side of the court and in the order that you got out. This way, if a catch is made, it's first out, first in. You're back in, go touch the wall. When the game is over, make sure to high five the other team because we're all about good spirit and having fun. Just a couple more notes. The IDA strongly discourages headshots and we do have protocols in place to deal with repeat offenses. That being said, for the sake of clarity, headshots do count. You can catch any ball that hits off yourself. As long as it doesn't hit anything else while it's airborne, it will count as a catch. However, if it touches anything else, including the walls or a teammate, it's not a catch and you're out. Those are the basic rules of dodgeball. The IDA depends on you, the player, to uphold those rules using the honor system. That said, if a referee makes a call, it's considered poor sportsmanship to dispute it. Thanks for watching and have fun.